There have often been debates and comparisons between the Vince McMahon era and the Triple H era in WWE. The dichotomy between the two different creative regimes has often sparked debates and conflicts among wrestling fans, with each side presenting a compelling narrative. However, a former WWE champion shed light on this and presented his personal views. The name in question is Bobby Lashley. The Almighty broke his silence for the first time since the news of his WWE departure. He made some controversial remarks that raised many eyebrows. According to Lashley, Vince McMahon was better at scouting stars who would go on to become bigger names in the industry and eventually become world champions. However, the former WWE champion felt that the game operates things quite differently. Bobby Lashley did not criticize Triple H, but he did say, Hunter has his guys, which suggests that the current WWE CCO has a certain group of individuals on the radar that he keeps pushing into the spotlight in order to make them bigger stars. However, Lashley admitted that he and HHH did not work together enough to get to know each other, and that could be the reason why things did not work out. The Almighty showered praise on Mr. McMahon and stated that the latter saw him as a big star who could globally represent the company, whereas he felt that the current WWE CCO did not see perceived that way. It would be an exaggeration to say that Triple H made several mistakes with Bobby Lashley in his regime. The King of Kings arguably floundered with him on several occasions, failing to capitalize on things. Do Triple H and Bobby Lashley have bad blood? Ever since the news of Bobby Lashley's WWE departure broke, there has been a whirlpool of speculation among fans regarding the real reason behind his exit. However, the Almighty did not have any bad blood with Triple H, and the two have a normal working relationship. In his interview with the Laboratory podcast, he made it clear that he is not closely associated with the game because he did not get adequate chances to work closely with the latter. However, the alleged reason behind his departure is his dissatisfaction with his bookings. According to rumors, both parties had a conversation, and WWE offered a new contract, but Bobby Lashley decided not to renew it. The former WWE champion is keen to explore various other prospects outside the Stanford-based promotion, as he felt the Triple H-led regime did not have much to offer. Hence, Lashley does not have any bad blood with the King of Kings and the reason he decided to walk out was to explore better opportunities. In the world of WWE, scouting and developing talent is an art form, often credited to the visionary minds behind the scenes. Vince McMahon and Triple H are two of the most significant figures in this regard, with each bringing their unique perspectives to the table. Vince McMahon, the longtime chairman and CEO of WWE, is known for his role in transforming the company into a global powerhouse. Triple H, on the other hand, has become a pivotal force in recent years, particularly in developing and nurturing new talent through NXT. But when it comes to scouting future world champions, is Vince McMahon truly superior to Triple H? Let's delve into the comments and perspectives of former WWE champions to explore this intriguing question. Vince McMahon, the visionary pioneer. Vince McMahon's approach to scouting talent has been legendary. His ability to identify stars who could become global icons is part of what has cemented WWE status as a major entertainment force. His knack for spotting talent with the charisma, athleticism. Similarly, The Rock, who was groomed under McMahon's guidance, has praised McMahon's ability to recognize the potential for greatness. In various interviews, The Rock has highlighted how McMahon saw the potential in him to become a main event player and a future world champion, despite his initial struggles. The Rock has said, Vince has an instinct for finding that spark in people. He saw something in me that I didn't even see in myself at the time. Triple H, the modern scouter. Triple H, on the other hand, represents a more contemporary approach to scouting and developing talent. His role in NXT has been instrumental in shaping the careers of many wrestlers who have transitioned to the main roster and become world champions. Triple H's focus on in-ring ability, character development, and storytelling has been crucial in preparing wrestlers for the WWE stage. Former WWE Champion Daniel Bryan, who flourished under Triple H's mentorship in NXT, has shared positive comments about Triple H's scouting and development techniques. Bryan has spoken about how Triple H's emphasis on wrestling skills and the importance of character development helped him grow as a performer. Bryan stated, Triple H has a knack for finding talent who may not fit the traditional mold but have the potential to be stars. He nurtures that potential and helps them refine their skills. Seth Rollins, another WWE champion who benefited from Triple H's guidance, echoed similar sentiments. Rollins praised Triple H's ability to see the potential in wrestlers who might not have been immediately obvious choices for top spots. Rollins said, Triple H sees the potential in people and helps them reach it. 
he's got a vision for what a star can be and works tirelessly to help them get there. The Dichotomy of Styles The contrasting styles of Vince McMahon and Triple H highlight a shift in WWE's approach to scouting and talent development. Vince McMahon's method is often characterized by a broader vision, focusing on larger-than-life personas and marketability. His success stories include larger-than-life characters like Hulk Hogan, Stone Cold Steve Austin, and The Rock, who transcended wrestling to become mainstream icons. Triple H's approach, while also visionary, is more focused on the nuances of wrestling and character development. His success stories, such as Daniel Bryan and Seth Rollins, represent a different kind of star, one who excels in technical prowess and storytelling. Triple H's scouting is less about the immediate marketability and more about the long-term potential and adaptability of the talent. An evolving landscape. In recent years, WWE has evolved, and so have the methods for scouting and developing talent. Vince McMahon's influence remains profound, but Triple H's impact has become increasingly significant. The modern wrestling landscape demands a blend of traditional charisma and exceptional in-ring skills, and both McMahon and Triple H have contributed to shaping this blend. Vince McMahon's approach, with its emphasis on charisma and marketability, laid the foundation for WWE's global expansion. Triple H's methods, which focus on refining wrestling skills and character development, represent the evolution of WWE's talent development strategy. The interplay between these approaches highlights a dynamic process of identifying and cultivating future world champions. Conclusion. So, is Vince McMahon better at scouting world champions than Triple H? The answer might not be so clear-cut. Both have demonstrated exceptional talent scouting abilities, albeit with different focuses and methods. Vince McMahon's historical impact on WWE's global dominance and star-making ability is undeniable.